Außerhalb eines Kreises von Eingeweihten, für die der Rock der Sümpfe keine Geheimnisse hat, ist Tony Joe White in Frankreich eher durch die Interpretation seiner Songs durch andere Sänger bekannt. Poke Salad Annie von Elvis Presley gesungen, aber vor allem die gegenwärtigen Erfolge von Tina Turner. Wir trafen Tony Joe bei ihm zu Hause in Franklin, Tennessee, einige Kilometer von Nashville entfernt. Als wir ihn aufforderten, sich über den Swamp Rock, den berühmten Rock der Sümpfe, zu äußern, antwortete er nicht, sondern führte er uns auf einen Nebenarm des Mississippi in Tunica, um angeln zu gehen. Ein kleiner Ausflug von 1000 Kilometern hin und zurück. Es ist so, als ob man mit dem Auto von Hamburg nach München fahren würde, nur um ein paar Weißwürste zu essen. Unterwegs haben wir seine Lieblingsrestaurants, mehrere Angelgeschäfte und einige garantiert echte Südstaatler entdeckt. Vor allem aber spürten wir, wie der Mythos zur Realität wird. Even before folks settled in, it was like a song called Soul Francisco. And it was like a hit in Paris. And the, the press, the media, everybody always started calling my music Swamp Rock, Swamp Blues, because I was from Louisiana down on that the Delta end, kind of the swampy country up through there. So I would I would call it a mixture between blues and rock, you know, if you had to really pinpoint. Swamp is good enough. Ooh, Francisco. This is called uh, the swamp. It's like the basement at my house. And this is where I wrote work for the years. Music plays. The swamp. <laughs> fish or some of my old guns or, or the old Indians backyard, Tina even, you know. So, so yeah, all of this is an inspiration because I've cut some good demos down here through the years and people, even Tina Turner told me that I should release my demo and not go to the studio. So I started paying attention to the simplicity, the way that the realness of it sounds. It's a special place. Jaguar man, Jaguar man, Jaguar man, Jaguar man, Jaguar man. I like nice clothes. Simplistic. It's a way of life, period. Because If it gets real complicated and you get things going every which way, then you don't really take time to to enjoy anything. You know, you're just scattered. So, like, if you want to go fishing, you just have a simple boat and a simple truck, and you go fishing. But a lot of my friends have these huge bass boats with radar and televisions on them and depth finders and all this shit, you know, and it's like, by the time they get it all plugged up on the river, the sun's already way up high and going down the other side. <laughs> so, simplicity works for life, too, yeah.
I've just always fished, you know, all my life when I was little. I, it's just the quietness, getting out in a little boat and in the water and sitting there watching your cork or your fly or your lure you throw in and to see that thing get hit all of a sudden and a big bass hits it, you know, it's exciting. Plus it kind of clears my mind and opens up new channels when I come back from a fishing trip. Usually I have a song idea or something like that a lot of times. So fishing's real important. Good Let's put him on top of that beer back there, Darlene. Can you <laughs> grab him like this? Über Musik nur zu reden, ist fade. Deshalb haben wir Tony Joe überredet, nach Muscle Shoals, Alabama, zurückzukehren, um nur für uns mit seinen alten Kumpeln David Hood und Roger Hawkins einige seiner Songs.